Hi everybody, Matt Reeve here with Concordia University of Chicago and I'm here to give you a, a balanced workout progression um, from stabilization to strength and on to power. Uh, now my athlete specifically is going to be a uh, field hockey player uh, and coming back from an ankle injury uh, we want to work on uh, stability uh, and proprioception uh, within the stabilization endurance phase first uh, before moving on to a strength phase and then on to a power phase. Uh, with the stabilization endurance uh, exercises uh, we're going to start doing them on the ground, which is a nice stable surface, uh, before progressing to more unstable surfaces um, as they progress and as their injury begins to heal. Uh, we're going to go from the ground, uh, then to a beam, uh, then to a half foam roll, an air X pad, and then a dyna disc um, as they progress more unstable surfaces we can use. Uh, so again, the stabilization endurance uh, workout is going to be uh, three different exercises. Okay, they're going to be uh, my single leg reach, single leg rotation movement, and single leg chest toss. Um, there are going to be all three sets, uh, 12 repetitions of my single leg reach, and my single leg rotation movement, and then 15 uh, of my chest toss. Okay? The single leg reach will be real simple. The athlete is going to balance on one foot, okay? and they're going to reach out with their other foot in different directions, front, side, and back, okay? all while maintaining balance uh, within that ankle, just like so, front, side, and back. And as they progress, again, we can move up to more unstable surfaces. Okay, the next one, we're gonna have a single leg uh, with rotation movement. Okay, we're gonna rotate across our body all while um, maintaining our balance on our one ankle. Okay, so we're gonna rotate across. Again, working on the balance of that one leg. Then we're going to progress onto again the single leg chest toss. Uh, this works best with a partner, um, but the athlete will balance on one foot again, uh, hold the ball at their chest, and then they will toss it out uh, to their partner and then catch it back, all while maintaining balance again on that ankle, out and back. Good. Uh, and that is my stabilization endurance workout. Uh, moving on to uh, my strength endurance workout, we're going to do single leg squats, balance lunge, and step up overhead press. Okay, four sets for both the single leg squat and the balance lunge, and then three sets for the step up overhead press. Uh, Ten repetitions for the single leg squat and balance lunge, and then twelve repetitions for the step up uh, overhead press. Okay, first the single leg squat. Okay, uh, we're just going to use our body weight here. Okay, we're going to balance on one leg, okay, go down, uh, basically touch our toe um, in a squat position and then back up. So maintain balance on the one leg, down, touch, and up, down, touch, and up. Again, trying to maintain as much balance as possible. Good. Uh, the next one is the balance lunge. Okay, it's going to be very similar. Um, you're going to step out in a lunge. And then after you do, you're going to bring your leg up and balance and hold uh, for two to three seconds. So lunge out, balance up, hold, lunge out, balance up, hold, lunge out, balance up, hold. Okay. And then as the athlete progresses as well with that, you can start to use weight uh, with that. Uh, the squat as well as the lunge. Uh, the step up overhead press, okay, you're going to hold weights for this. Uh, I recommend 10 to 12 pound weights uh, for my athlete. Um, you're just going to step up onto the box. Again, just like the lunge, bring our knee up and hold for about two seconds. So step up, hold, push up overhead, back down. Good. Switch legs. Step up, hold, push up legs. Step up, pull, and press. Again, all of this movement needs to be controlled. Uh, the, the more control, the more balance, the better. Okay, finally on to on my power uh, phase. Okay, the three workouts in here are going to be hop-ups in the frontal plane, uh, bounding hops, and then single leg hops within the frontal plane. Okay, there'll be 
four sets of five with the frontal, or excuse me, the hop ups, three sets of eight with the bounty hops, and then four sets of five with the single leg hops. And then again, uh, with the power exercise, we want to be explosive, and then we want to hold um, as we land. Okay, so be explosive with our movement, and then hold uh, on the landing for about two to three seconds. Okay, first one, single leg hop ups. Okay, you're gonna have a box in between. Okay, uh, and then after you're simply going to hop up onto the box, hold, and then hop down, and then back up uh, from side to side. So you're gonna hop up, hold, hop down, hold, hop up, hold, oh, maintain balance, hop down, hold. Okay, just like so. Uh, the bounding hops, okay, the bounding hops, no equipment needed for this, okay, they're simply going to hop as far out as they can, as explosive out as they can, uh, and then hold each one, switching legs, okay, in the air. So I'll stand over here, I'm going to hop out as far and far as I can, balance and hold. Again, just like so, being explosive and powerful and then holding each one to try and maintain balance, uh, dynamic balance. And then finally, the single leg hops to the frontal plane. Um, this is going to be from side to side. Again, you don't need any equipment with this. You're just going to hop uh, in the frontal plane and then hold, uh, exploding to the right and then to the left. So we're going to hop up. Hold each time. Good, and again, uh, this works on my dynamic balance, my explosiveness, uh, and then my balance within my explosive workouts. Again, uh, I'm Matt Reeve, and this is a balanced workout uh, for a field hockey player. Thanks. Bye.